Graduates and guests, the graduation ceremony is about to begin. Swinburne University of Technology Chancellor, Professor John Pelaez OAM will preside over the ceremony. Professor Pelaez will be preceded into the call by Carol Meng, the mace bearer. The mace is a symbol of institutional authority and is carried as a symbolic weapon of protection. The Chancellor and Mace Bearer are members of the official party who will be escorted into the hall by the academic procession. We ask you to respect the dignity of the occasion and remain in your seat throughout the ceremony, especially while the graduates are being presented on stage. Please put your mobile phones on silent. In case of emergency, the exit doors are located at the rear of the hall. The academic procession is about to enter the hall, so for those of you who are able, please stand. Please remain standing for the national anthem. The words are printed on page one of the ceremony program. Please be seated. My name is Professor Virginia Kilborn. I'm the Chief Scientist at Swinburne University of Technology, and I would like to welcome you all to this graduation ceremony. This is one of three ceremonies the university is holding today for more than 900 Swinburne graduates. It is now my pleasure to introduce the people who are seated on stage. Seated at centre stage are Chancellor Professor John Pelaez OAM and Vice-Chancellor Professor Pascal Cuesta. They are joined today by Ms Louisa Allum, Director of Pathways and Engagement, Professor Nikki Ragg, Dean Interim, School of Business Law and Entrepreneurship, 
Professor John Chicaro OM, Interim Deputy Vice-Chancellor External Engagement, Ms. Carol Ming, Mace Bearer and Student Speaker. The other attendees seated on, seated on stage are academics and professional staff who've played such a part in the success of today's graduates. It now gives me great pleasure to invite Professor John Pelez, OAM, Chancellor, Swinburne University of Technology, to formally open the proceedings. Swinburne Executive, members of staff, distinguished guests, graduates, families and friends. Before I begin, I'd like to respectfully acknowledge the Wurundjeri and the Boonwurrung people of the Kulin Nation, who are the traditional owners on the land on which we meet, and pay our respects to elders past and present. I'd also like to acknowledge any First Nations students, staff and guests with us here today. On behalf of Swinburne University of Technology, it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you all here to today's graduation ceremony. For you, our latest Swinburne graduates, today's ceremony acknowledges your academic and research achievements. It's the culmination of many years of hard work and, of course, of personal growth, of development and just absolute commitment. We are very proud of that commitment and the work that you have done through what has been an unprecedented period of dis disruption, both through the pandemic and through other events hitting, hitting our world today. For parents, family and friends of our graduates, this ceremony also is an important recognition of the support that you have provided each and every day along the way. On behalf of Swinburne Council, I sincerely congratulate all of the graduating students on the achievement of your qualifications. You are graduating from an institution that is proud to be the sort of university that the future not only expects, but it demands us to be. We're proud to be the prototype of a new and different university, one that is truly of innovation, of technology and of entrepreneurship. Now, Swinburne may be a young university, but we are making ourselves very visible on the world stage as a leading global institution of higher education. And nothing demonstrates that better than the spectacular rise that we have had in the academic global rankings. Last year, we were particularly proud to lift 100 places and enter the top 250 universities in the world judged by the Times Higher Education World University Rankings, and within the top 50 universities under the age of 50 years old. Now, these achievements validate our reputation for world-leading research and for offering students like you the innovative next-generation qualifications that you will need in a tech-led world. University is one of life's great adventures, and we hope that Swinburne has been a place for you to question, to discover, to establish truth, to ignite passion, and to experience those light bulb moments of interaction and thought. But now another adventure awaits for you. Swinburne credentials are your passport to an exciting future. You have the opportunity, and indeed a duty, to help lead Australia into a new society where the gains of the technology age are harnessed and unleashed to solve the challenges that we face. So particularly today, I want you to ask yourself, what do you want to achieve? Who do you want to become? How will you make the world a better place? Will you continue to commit to a process of inquiry and the search for answers to some of the world's biggest questions? Well, today you join a special community of thousands of Swinburne alumni, innovators and creators who are helping to build a better world and who have asked themselves those very same questions. 
That community includes Dr Leonie Walsh, Victoria's first lead scientist, who is also a member of the Swinburne Council. Jessie Leesworth, a designer of the unique memo bottle, which she created in response to the environmental impact of single-use bottles. Dr Grainy Oates, or Grainy Oates, Swinburne Associate Professor in Accounting and founder of a homegrown startup, Kitsch, which is revolutionising education through technology. Matthew Hoskin, CEO of Nurtech, who is leading the development of a groundbreaking medical device that can identify those at the highest risk of heart attack. And Huang Dang, who founded Hopebox, a social enterprise based in Vietnam for victims and survivors of gender-based violence. Swinburne graduates are the kind of game changers that propel us forward and leave their mark on the world. At this pivotal time in your life's journey, I challenge you to consider how you can contribute to building a better world, just like our founders, George and Ethel Swinburne did over 100 years ago. We are facing some of the greatest challenges of our time. And while there is no magic wand to create a better world, it will take all of us using the resources, the skills and the abilities we have to make a better future for our community, for our society and to make it a reality for the world. As new Swinburne graduates, I encourage you to harness all that you have learned during your time with us in your classes, from your unique industry experiences and inject that into what you do to make a difference. Can I now ask all the graduates who are able to, to stand. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Council of Swinburne University of Technology, I admit you as graduates to the awards for which you have qualified and to all the rights and privileges of those awards. Congratulations. Thank you. Please be seated. Before we commence the award presentations, we ask you to respect the dignity of the occasion. Please do not leave the ceremony hall until the conclusion of the event after the academic procession has left. I now call upon Ms Louisa Allum, Director of Pathways and Engagement, to introduce both Swinburne College and vocational education and training. So, Chancellor, I have the great pleasure in presenting to you our Swinburne College and vocational education and training graduates. This next generation of creators, innovators and change makers have the technical, personal and digital skills required for the world of tomorrow. These graduates are now prepared for a new world of work. Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you the Swinburne College and Vocational Education graduates on whom an award has been conferred. For the Certificate 4 in Accounting and Bookkeeping, Jane Frances Cassidy. Madeline Pearson. For the Certificate 4 in Business Procurement, Sarinya Sukhered. For the Certificate 4 in Design, Elena Angelina Clark. Alina Walid Habash. For the Certificate 4 in Mental Health Peer Work, Gilbert Irvin Bond. For the Certificate 4 in Science, Samiula Ahmadi.
for the certificate four in screen and media, Spiridon Satsakatakis. For the certificate four in youth work, Darren Copps. Marie Claire Aitel. For the Diploma of Accounting, Catherine Elizabeth Gordon. Annette Langer. Alia Muniera Binti M. D. Schuheim. Michelle Tassel. For the Diploma of Applied Technologies, Juliana Lacerda Rodriguez. Nazira Omar. <laughs> Munopo Farasai Charmaine Rukera. <laughs> Ekaterina Sergivna Zatseva. For the Diploma of Building and Construction Building, James Aitchison. For the Diploma of Business, Stephanie Keana Taylor. For the Diploma of Community Services Case Management, Marita Joy Oramenko. Jennifer Dizon Forbes. <laughs> Alessandra Falvo. <laughs> Kudakwashe Goreraza. Yuen Hong Lam. Shegofa Nazeri. Stevie Fung. For the Diploma of Early Childhood Education and Care, Nicole Emily Rutter. For the Diploma of Emergency Health Care, Ian Davis. For the Diploma of Horticulture, Catherine Mary Devlin. For the Diploma of Human Resource Management, Holly Parsons. For the Diploma of Information Technology, Advanced Networking Cybersecurity, Ella Louise Hunt. For the Diploma of Information Technology, Game Art and Design Game Programming, Thomas Andrew Kingston. For the Diploma of Interior Design, Brooke Bayer. Shanice Morgan Falzer. For the Diploma of Justice, Sakina Akbari. Andrew Jason Bat. <laughs> Jennifer 
Emma Ho. Briella Lily Humphreys Crouch. Sheridan Mary McCloskey. <clears throat> Lee Neil Standen. <clears throat> Sandra Tavares. For the Diploma of Laboratory Technology, Nikki Bernadette Balatero. Sarah Webster. For the Diploma of Landscape Design, Nicholas Jackson King. For the Diploma of Library and Information Services, Kenneth Robert Date. <clears throat> Isuri Kalpana Kumari Harath Harath Mudian Selege. <clears throat> Beverly House. Claire Catherine Ann Johnson. <clears throat> Diana Patricia Mulvaney. <clears throat> Andriana Scutas. Genevieve Frances Stekivishkis. <clears throat> Marie Truen. <clears throat> Alison Louise Turner. For the Diploma of Nursing, Michaela Benkova. <clears throat> Isabel Ingrid Berta. <clears throat> Tessa May Burke Finn. <clears throat> Madison Douglas. Chloe Grace Dwyer. <clears throat> Ashley Hawkridge. <clears throat> Charlotte May Hoth. <clears throat> Ella Alana Johnson. Pia Laidlaw. <clears throat> Zafar Mod. <clears throat> Anna O'Shea. <clears throat> Talia Ripley. Lisa Sariconda. <clears throat> Alexandra Matilda Smith. <clears throat> Linda Stig. Yeah, Linda. <laughs> Sharona Toussaint.
for the Diploma of Screen and Media, Mohammad Zikri Mohammad Sayyid. <laughs> Nicholas Thomas Ryan. <laughs> for the Diploma of Social Media Marketing, Gabrielle Phoebe. Alaska Michaela Green. <laughs> Azam Marjani. <laughs> For the Diploma of Teacher Education Preparation, Tara Dacos. For the Diploma of Arts and Communication, Unilink, Srepik Prak. For, for the Diploma of Business, Unilink, Joshua Benjamin Foskett. <laughs> Melisandra Angela Pell. Umra Chana Prak. <laughs> Hanin Pulikkal. <laughs> Blake Stanley Smith. <laughs> Wong Vorogboth Tang. For the Diploma of Design, Unilink, Benjamin Jordan Del Sasso. <laughs> Voriak Amarant Van. <laughs> For the Diploma of Engineering, Unilink, Varun. For the Diploma of Health Science, Unilink, Hong Van An Nguyen. For the Diploma of Information Technology, Unilink, Harsha Thiwanka Kumara Lianaralage Don. For the Diploma of Science, Unilink, PC Sin. Kamil Suwara. <laughs> For the Advanced Diploma of Building Design Architectural, Liam Ernutz. <laughs> Nicholas Lane Ingpen. Pauline Kayat. <laughs> Michael Mayo. <laughs> Billy Josip Malakovich. Kara Jane Munnings. Brandon Joshua Palmer. Ella Lucy Rhodes. Gregory Peter Slingsby. Michael Anthony David West. For the Advanced Diploma of Engineering Technology Electrical, Gat Gotkuth Ruach Gotkuth. K. 
Kenny Huang. Michael John Ramsden Ritchie. For the Advanced Diploma of Screen and Media, Lydia May Todd. For the Graduate Certificate in Client Assessment and Case Management, Michelle Saltmarsh. Jone Wakabaka Tamani Bola. That concludes the awards for Swinburne College and Vocational Education and Training. I now call upon Professor Nikki Ragg, Dean Interim of the School of Business, Law and Entrepreneurship to present their graduates. Chancellor, I have the great pleasure in presenting to you our School of Business, Law and Entrepreneurship graduates. Our graduates have immersed themselves in technology-rich learning environments, embodying Swinburne's spirit of creativity, innovation, technology and entrepreneurship. Our graduates are now equipped with the digital skills they need to open their worlds. Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you the business law and entrepreneurship graduates on whom an award has been conferred. For the Bachelor of Accounting, Jessica Isabel Haddad-Smith. Martin Christick. Jess Lily McDonald. Bitania Zude Tilahan. <laughs> Laura Velio. <laughs> For the Bachelor of Accounting and Business Information Technology Professional, Alexander Guy Barlow. Luke Dunk. Christopher Peter Hatsi-Giorgio. Sean Murphy. For the Bachelor of Business, Ryan Alexander Adams. Achia Addo. <laughs> Elana Alimi. <laughs> Ryan Arnold. <laughs> Theodore Beebe. Lauren Beekman. <laughs> Michael Francesco Benvenuto. <laughs> Jessica Singh Mai Bong. Jeremy Damien Brown. David Casamayo. Catherine Grace Shai Fernchin.
Du An Chu. Grace Loretta Celia. Jordan Patrick Cole. Michael Collins. Marie Nadine Dickinson. Anna Jane Dunn. Noah Fairley. Samantha Farrelly. Darcy James Fenning Chester. Sam Ghent. Michaela Angela Grillo. Amy Carol Mary Harrington. Dean Hinch. Shannon Hawking. Matthew Peter James. Naris Janthakam. Will Michael Jury. Riyad Khalil. Michaela Ellen Killorn. Shimona Connolly King. Chiloko Conque. Gemma Mauritia Lacey. Yong Jun Lee. Victor Wen Ping Liao. Daphne Jia Ling Lim. Emily Jane Linton. Bernadette Josephine Lilac. Connor James Marks. Jake William Marston. Sophie Catherine McGill. Duncan Edward Mackenzie. Ewan McTaggart. Kishaya Mock. Abdur Rehman Muhammad.
Michael David Mishka. Vajma Nasimi. Clarence Su Yi Ng. Nyok Mai An Nguyen. Joseph Daniel Nisbet. Liam Bernard O'Brien. Hannah Marie Darko Pangilinan. Simon Peter Parrish. Juliana Marie Pearson. Chinapat Pengong. Ti Tu Fong Pham. Joshua Robert Piovesen. Ochian Fogg. Grace Potter. Austin John Prendergast. Satishan Rajasegaran. Sarisha Ramdani. Sarah Rose. Mahazabin Zaman Sarka. <laughs> Megan Jade Selby Fulgrave. <laughs> Melanie Sicker. Stephanie Louise Spear. Arvindakshan Srihari. Chelsea Ray Taylor. Damien John Taylor. Luke Daniel Toomey. Dylan Trabuco. Lucy Jasmine Trounson. Lucy Elizabeth Turner. Few, few twin. For the Bachelor of Business Management, Chai Chung Yong. For the Bachelor of Business Marketing, Brittany Louise Condello. For the Bachelor of Business Professional, Jamie William Fay. (laughs) 
Kai Saul Gold. Lin Bao Nguyen. For the Bachelor of Business, Sports Management, Damien Paul White. For the Bachelor of Business Information Systems, Karindra Samal Bandara Basnayaka. Wadige Ashmini Doasmitha Fernando. Himeth Thuwin Jayakori Jayakori Arachige. Crystalline Neomali Liana Arachige Dona. Krishna Kumar Madaya. <laughs> Fatima Nila Mohammed Simsa. <laughs> Jonathan Allen Morrison. <laughs> Kim Ne Ong. Chathuja Oshan Witerana. For the Bachelor of Business Information Technology Professional, Michaela Megan Baptista. For the Bachelor of Criminal Justice and Criminology, Madeline Emma Bailey. Alicia Emily Black. <laughs> Jessica Boyd. <laughs> Patrick Joseph Patterson Hayton. <laughs> Natalie Elena Kochuk. Delfina Lazarowski Temko. Kylie Martello. Jenny Karina Martin. Laura Isabel Pulida Nochua. Valentina Stanko. Ainsley Sienna Van Camp. Sophie Jade Williams. For the Bachelor of Laws, Alexander Jackson Arnold. Lungowe Mubayeta. <laughs> Srichika Sundaram. <laughs> For the Bachelor of Business Information Systems Bachelor of Business, Ka Wa Lai.
Rowan Osborne. For the Bachelor of Laws, Bachelor of Arts, Jessica Ross. <laughs> Emily Louise Stockdale. <laughs> For the Bachelor of Laws, Bachelor of Media and Communication, Leila Gorga. For the Bachelor of Laws, Bachelor of Science, Jerome Catalo. For the Graduate Certificate of Business Administration, Trina Bloomfield. Luke Anthony Davis. Natalie King. For the Graduate Certificate of Human Resource Management, Alexandra Canizzaro. For the Graduate Certificate of Management, Mohammed Shinas Mohammed Jeffrey. For the Graduate Diploma of Project Management, Gaveshana Anuradha Sapalage. For the, for the Master of Business Administ Administration, Jasmine Akta. Glenn Bolton Aldous. Michael Jake Campbell. Chandrika Dakal. Te Hong Air. Lisa Michelle Fala. Emma Fernandez. <laughs> Hannah Rose Gosh. <laughs> Simon Ian Johnson. <laughs> Annika Karan. Rebecca Leanne Kidd. Paul Anthony Cox. Michelle Paris Mitchell. Jana Narang. Arjun Pahadi. Frank Petruccelli. Genevieve Rene Plant. Dale Streeter. For the Master of Business Administration Executive, Chinu Shibu. For the Master of Business Administration International, Hazik bin Hossein. For 
for the Master of Business Information Systems, Anisha Gupta. <laughs> Zanatul Fardushi Nipa. <laughs> Tien Fuang Pham. For the Master of Finance, Ashish Busal. Aparna Thomas. For the Master of Financial Planning, Bronte Collins. Elise Claire Davidson. For the Master of Financial Technologies, T. Kim Dung Nguyen. Hong Jiang Tran. For the Master of Marketing, Erica Darrell Ung. <laughs> Nu Vuong Vo. <laughs> For the Master of Professional Accounting Extended, Hidden Lakshman Shiani. For the Master of Project Management, Afsana Zaman. For the Master of Business Administration Executive, Master of Entrepreneurship and Innovation, Maya Devi Linardi. For the Master of Professional Accounting, Master of Financial Planning, Ravnil Chant. Prakayapek Kuniranon. That concludes the awards for the School of Business, Law and Entrepreneurship. Please join me in a round of applause for Miss Beverly O'Connor, our esteemed name reader. As the Chief Scientist at Swinburne University of Technology, I now have the honour of presenting you the graduates from Swinburne Research. Chancellor. Chancellor. Graduates of higher degrees by research at Swinburne must demonstrate that their work meets the most rigorous standards. The outcome of their scholarship and research is examined by international experts to ensure that it makes a significant and original contribution to the field of international standards. Many of our doctoral graduates have presented their work at international conferences and published in international referee journals. During their candidature, they've already been contributing to Swinburne's growing international research reputation. So as we congratulate them on receiving their award, we ask that they join us, join the university staff on stage. While these achievements are indeed remarkable and worthy of celebration, it's worth taking a moment to reflect on what making original contributions to knowledge really means. To succeed in research, you need to have the courage to go into the unknown. Every thesis is a journey of risk-taking and resulting in fa failures, mistakes and successes in equal measure, and without which progress is simply not possible. Our graduates leave Swinburne as world experts in their chosen field but armed with finely honed skills to be curious, to take risks, to disrupt convention and to forge new paths. They also have the right expertise to make a real impact in our world. Swinburne is immensely proud that our research degree graduates will continue to make significant contributions to the advancement of knowledge, to solving challenges confronting our world and to enriching the communities wherever they work. Today, 
We salute the courageous and wish you well in your future endeavours. Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you the graduates on whom a doctorate has been conferred. For thesis citations, please refer to the graduation ceremony program. For the Master of Research, for the thesis title of Systematic Literary, Literature Review of Consumer Adoption Towards Virtual Fitting Room, I present to you Ms. Buddha Kola Karate, Simadi Rindaka, Senator of Evatne. For the thesis title of Benefits of Integrated Reporting from Analyst and Investor Perspectives, I present to you Dr. Mesum Al Said. For the thesis title of Tritic Interplay of Regulatory Frameworks, Digitally Empowered Tourists and Smart Tourism Offerings in the Sri Lankan Tourism Sector, a Strategic Marketing Perspective in an Era of Virtual Networking, I present to you Dr. Saragan Balachandran. For the thesis title of The Lived Experience of the Quantified Footballer, Understanding Digital Self-Tracking Among Women Australian Foot Rules Footballers, I present to you Dr Paul Gerard Bowell. For the thesis title of Exceptional Taxonomy of Celebrity Applied to Operational Marketing Activity Using Celebrity Endorsers, I present to you Dr Rodney John Brennan. For the thesis title of Co-Created Value and Wellbeing of Beneficiaries in Community-Based Tourism Destinations, I present to you Dr. Palamana Didgay Madhuri Pirawada Fernando. For the thesis title of Configurations of Acquisition Integration by Publicly Listed Multi Acquiring Law Firms, I present to you Dr. Sophie Ella Fisher. For the thesis title of How Startups Progress into the Post-Startup Stage, I present to you Dr. Chandra Prakash Surendra Hingal. For the thesis title of Strengthening Entrepreneurial Ecosystems in Northwest Tasmania, I present to you Dr. Deanna Jean Hutchison. For the thesis title of Psychopaths, Narcissists, Machiavellians, Toxic Leaders, Coercive Controllers, Subsets of One Overarching Dark Personality Type, I present to you Dr. Karen Lee Mitchell. For the, thesis. for the thesis title of A Job Readiness Model for Trainee Chefs in Australia, I present to you Dr. Damon Kumar Shrivasav. For the thesis title of Investigating the Antecedents of Employee Green Behaviour in the Manufacturing Sector in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, I present to you Dr. Wirakadi Apohima Lage Sabokshini Wirakadi. <laughs> Chancellor, that concludes the awards for Swinburne Research.
I now call upon Professor Pascal Cuesta, Vice-Chancellor and President of Swinburne University of Technology, to present the graduate awarded the University Medal. The University Medal is a prestigious award recognizing the most outstanding students across all higher education levels at Swinburne University of Technology. Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you the graduate awarded a University Medal for the most outstanding undergraduate student in 2023, Carol Meng. I now call upon Carol Meng, who was awarded today with the Undergraduate University Medal for 2023, to speak on behalf of the graduates. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, members of the University Council, Swinburne staff, fellow graduates and guests. It's such an honour to address you all on behalf of today's graduates. This moment as we gather to celebrate our graduation is an embodiment of our tenacity, dedication and unwavering pursuit of knowledge. So we find ourselves here, unified in joy and reflection. But what would this moment, this destination, be without the journey that led to it? These past years, each one of us has walked a unique path encountered challenges that tested our limits and endeavoured toward this significant moment of accomplishment. But as any seasoned traveller will attest, through any journey and in life, we are never alone. In the spirit of gratitude, let us extend our heartfelt appreciation to the individuals who have played a pivotal role in our academic journeys. So our thanks to Swinburne staff, whose dedication ensured our academic pursuits remained on course. Your mentorship has propelled us to this moment where we proudly stand as graduates, ready to make our mark on the world. To our loved ones, our thanks from the depths of our hearts for your constant support, patience and encouragement. You were the first to believe in us and in our potential. It is only with you in our lives that we become not only the scholars, but the people we are today. Finally, to my fellow graduates, congratulations for many, this was a journey we began amongst unfamiliar faces, but today we will graduate among lifelong friends. Today may feel like a destination, but to be a Swinburne scholar is to be a lifelong learner. Our education definitely does not stop here, but the knowledge, friendships and experience that we've gained will put us in good stead for whatever's to come next. So the next leg of this journey is in our hands now. Thank you. Thank you, Carol, and congratulations on your wonderful achievement. Swinburne graduates, I know that today is the culmination of many years of hard work, and that during that time, you've had the support and encouragement of your family and your friends. On behalf of the university, I wish to thank your family and friends for supporting you during your studies at Swinburne and for being part of your journey at Swinburne. Graduates, can I please ask you to stand, to face your family, and your friends, and to join me in a round of applause to say thank you for all those who have helped you on the way. Great, if you could please resume your seats now. 
Of course, now the payback starts. We look forward to watching and to helping you grow and succeed in the years to come. Wherever your career takes you, Swinburne wants to be your education partner always. And when you're faced with the need to, new, to learn new skills and to grow further, we hope that you'll return to us so that together we can ensure you have what you need to succeed. I also encourage you to stay connected through the Swinburne Alumni Network, a worldwide community of more than 238,000 graduates across 163 countries. This network will give you access to a valuable community, both in person and online, who share your connection to Swinburne. I encourage you to take advantage of this powerful tool for building and developing your careers and for seizing lifelong opportunities. As I've learned through my own career, even just a phone call to somebody that you haven't connected to for a while or somebody you don't know in the network can make amazing, uh, your network grow in amazing ways over the years. As well as events in Australia, Swinburne Alumni has a growing number of networks in many other parts of the world. So even if you are leaving Melbourne, you can always stay connected to Swinburne and take advantage of what it means to be a Swinburne graduate. And if you, haven't, uh, if you do go to a country and there isn't a group, then start one, because there will definitely be Swinburne graduates near at hand. Now, graduates, on your behalf, I wish to take this opportunity also to thank the academic and professional staff for their contribution to your education at Swinburne. So could I please ask the professional and academic staff to rise. Graduates, would you please join me in a round of applause to say thank you. Can I ask the academic professional staff to a seat, please? It now gives me great pleasure to call upon Professor Pascal Cuesta, the Vice-Chancellor and President of Swinburne University of Technology, to deliver the all-important charge to the graduates. Thank you. Thank you, Chancellor. Before I read the charge to today's graduates, I too would like to congratulate all our graduating students on their achievements. As I look around the room, I know I am looking at the next generation of leaders, visionaries, and entrepreneurs who will shape the future in a variety of professions, many of which are likely not to even exist today. The Swinburne qualification that you now hold is much more than a piece of paper. It is a next-gen asset that will enable you to enter all sorts of worlds, see what's behind the next wall, and step right up to the top floor. Your qualification is truly a kind of superpower, because there is nothing more potent than the capacity to think, to debate, to analyze, and yes, at times, change your mind about a particular topic. I also encourage you to think of it as an investment, one that you can leverage and which will help you to create value for yourself or for your employer. Swinburne has worked closely with industry and employers to ensure that your degree is relevant and future-proof. You graduate today with deep knowledge of your disciplines, cutting-edge skills, and the distinct attributes that you have gained from Swinburne that will set you apart in your fields. Swinburne graduates are known for their energy, their curiosity, their practicality, and adaptability. You can embrace change, and you are able to think laterally and differently about our world. You are ready to enter the world of work, and you are definitely ready to change it. Of course, there will be inevitable challenges and setbacks in your life. But please be confident that you have developed the resilience as well as the essential and practical skills during your time with us that you will need to thrive in your chosen careers. I hope you also graduate from Swinburne today with a deep sense of pride for the Swinburne qualification that you now carry with you. You have achieved so much during your time with us. Swinburne is certainly very proud of you. Your graduation marks the closure of one chapter and the start of an exciting new one. 
And at Swinburne, we are always looking to the future. Our vision of people and technology working together to build a better world requires out-of-the-box thinking and determination. We call this type of thinking our moonshots, and we have four of them. The first one is our commitment to work experience for every Swinburne learner, because we believe in learning by doing. The second is our dedication to student employability, so that every Swinburne graduate can get or indeed create a job. The third is our belief in co-creation, so that every Swinburne partner investing in our research gets a tech solution, and what's more, the human capital to make it work. And fourth is our inclination to always innovate and dare to be a different university that defines best practice for the very different future that awaits us. No doubt you have heard about those moonshots during your time with us. But you may also be aware that last year we were absolutely thrilled to be able to land Moonshot One already ahead of schedule with every Swinburne undergraduate course now directly engaging students in at least one form of work integrated learning during their studies. As a Swinburne alum, you now have a unique role to play in the future of Swinburne's and many of you can actually help us now to continue on the way to our Moonshots. This might be through continuing to support the success of our work integrated learning program by taking on a professional placement or internship uh, student, what we call our Swinterns. You know from personal experience the value of those opportunities. It may also include you becoming a real asset for your employer, a wonderful talent that they can recognize and value so that in the future they will always seek to take on another Swinburne graduate. Or it may be by working with Swinburne on a technology solution for a problem that you or your employer and workplace is facing. And as you leave Swinburne to continue on your own journey to the stars, we want you to feel that you can always come back home to us. We will always be here for you. Indeed, you are very welcome to join us on the first floor of the Hawthorne Hotel, which we have now renamed our Alum Lounge, which is a place of gathering for yourself as an alum, but also industry partners, stakeholders, and peers, so that you can return, meet with your peers, mentor future students, and discuss the many ways in which you plan to create a better world. I certainly look forward to your ongoing engagement with us and wish you all the very best for your future. May I now please ask all our graduates to stand. In conferral of your award, I ask you as graduates of Swinburne University of Technology to strive to be champions of innovation, entrepreneurialism, agility and high performance, Seek positive and creative ways to engage with and serve your community. Remain curious and open to new learning and new experiences. And use your knowledge, talents, skills and passion to encourage a better future for our global community. Congratulations once again. Please be seated. This concludes the official part of the Swinburne graduation ceremony. We welcome to you to join us for ref refreshments in the main foyer. For those who are able, would you now please stand while the official party, academic procession and our graduates leave the hall.